Greetings, greetings. Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com. Let's take a look at the ultimate, I mean ultimate curry goat recipe. And that's what you're looking at in front of you here. Uh, basically what I have is two pounds of goat meat with the bone cut up into two inch pieces. Remember to get your butcher to do this for you or you'll do some serious damage to your cleavers or knives or whatever you try to cut it up with. Feel free to also use boneless uh, goat meat. In front of you here you'll see I've uh, seasoned the meat and the full recipe for seasoning the meat can be found at CaribbeanPod.com. These are my two secret ingredients, roasted jeera and anchar masala. I use that in seasoning as well. Um, what I did here in a heavy pan after everything's been marinated for a couple hours, um, I cook up an onion and a few cloves of garlic and about three tablespoons of oil to which I add one and a half teaspoons of good curry powder. I think this one is uh, Raha, Raja Jahan, I think it's called, out of Trinidad, made by Turban Brand. Anyways, moving on, uh, we cook that up for a couple of minutes, then we add about a quarter cup of water to the pot and let that gentle cook for at least five minutes. We want to bloom the curry and allow all the flavors to really come out. Um, then turn up the heat a bit after about five minutes and try to burn off some of that water. And there you go. This is what I've done here. So pretty much it's more of a greeny sort of texture with the onions and, and garlic. And a piece of hot pepper I think I had in there as well too. Again, the full recipe can be found at CaribbeanPot.com. Then I add the seasoned pieces of goat meat to there. Um, a few pieces at a time. And make sure you really stir it around. Because you want to get all the pieces of uh, the meat here covered with the curry sauce. Um... Then what you're going to do is after you really stir things around, turn it down to like a medium low heat, cover it and allow it to cook for about 20 minutes to half an hour. You will notice it will spring a lot of its own natural juices. So what we're going to do is open the pot and as you can see here what I did, I burnt off all that those natural juices that formed by turning up the heat and moving it around, um, stirring uh, quite a few times so it doesn't burn. Then. I added about three cups of water to the same bowl that I had uh, the originally had originally seasoned the goat meat in, and I poured it in into the pot here. Bring it up to a boil and let it simmer now. And this is we're going to be braising this thing. We're really going to be cooking this thing, cooking uh, for a couple hours at least, uh, no less than a couple hours. And there you go, the final product, the ultimate curry goat. Friends, trust me, I'm not a big fan of curry goat. But this one really hit the spot a few nights ago. Um, I really hope you guys try this recipe. For tips, for pictures, for the full recipe, check out CaribbeanPod.com. Happy cooking and you guys, hey, enjoy your day. Bye-bye.